Okay, we're gonna go take pay, pay a little visit to Grillon. Oh, I don't get, didn't get the little cutscene thing. What else? Ah! Oh well, right down to business. It's Grillin. Someone has killed Grillin. <laughs> Grillin is dead. Aventus did it. Yep. <laughs> no more. I Hooray! Yield. I yield. Grillin, the kind, is dead at last. We're saved. Yay! No more. Aventus really did it. He got the Dark Brotherhood to kill old Grelin. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! We love you, Dark Brotherhood. We love you, Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> now I'm just making sure that I do not have a bounty. Nope, no bounty. I'm clean as a daisy. Okay, I went to the temple to cleanse myself because I was diseased. I had some uh, some some kind of evil disease from a skiver bite. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? Let's see, do I have any other business here in Riften? That was probably pretty much it. Oh, I want to get a um, uh, want to get an amulet of Mara. Not because I'm going to use it right away, but because. Uh, uh, I, I have someone in mind. Destruction mine, magic's fine. Just don't go burning down any buildings. Okay. I think the guy I need to talk to to get an amulet tomorrow is in here. Uh, now you may ask, uh, why would you get married in Skyrim? Uh, that's because you you get in your house a basically a, you get a store in your house. Your mate is also a merchant, can uh, sell stuff. So you're so you happen to be in your house, not real close by to a town. Uh, and um, you, need, you discover you need to sell some shit. It's right there, you know. One-stop shop. That's the real reason why you should have a wife. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This I is one of the brother. signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace... The teachings of the hand. I usually kill Vex over there. I don't know if I will or not. No, no, Maramal. We talked about this. Talon? Kirava, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Maramal. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse <coughs> to harass our customers. <coughs> Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons this at the is temple not, not and much let us all sin in peace. This is not much as far as the den of peace. iniquity goes. They could do a lot better as far as dens of iniquity. I'm gonna just kind of follow this dude until he gets back to the temple of Mara and get an amulet of him. Oh, okay, well. What? Huh? Need something? Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive <laughs> the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. Beautiful marbles and gleaming gemstones over here. Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help the, we can get. The best anyone can ever, ever provide is coin. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. 
they're gone. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. Yes, the I temple really spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for there, all there the loving go. couples That's in Skyrim. That's what Skyrim. I want to find out about. Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? You may. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Like that guy? Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Here you are. Now, remember, people in Skyrim respond to deeds. You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Good luck. Mara bless you. No, thank you. Thank you very much. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying. Alas. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. Well, no, I'm not like a, uh, a, I can tell. a dock worker or, you know, minor. It's all about sizing up your mark, lass. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lass. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strongbox under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Okay. I'm ready when you are. <coughs> Just yeah, give well. the word. I'm not give not give me the word because I'm not interested sure, in Sure, sure. I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak to me? Alright, I'll speak to you. To oblivion with all of you! You rich piles of dung walking by us like we're not there, pretending we don't exist! How dare you! Uh-huh. You think you know pain? Do you? <laughs> Try watching your wife and daughter burn alive after they've been ravaged by brigands! That's pain, my friend. Until next time. <laughs> I was gonna kill him, but I think I like him. Edda. She's crazy as a loon. But at least she doesn't have the mind to realize what a horrible world this is. She's the lucky one. Okay, yeah, you're you're a uh -huh. bundle of laughs. Okay. I'm glad I met you though. I didn't remember her her be, him being here. What's his name? Snilf. Snilf? Yeah. Alright. What a joy. I think my <coughs> my business uh, in Riften is concluded for the time being. Uh, I'm just gonna head back out to the home. This should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. Sure, kid. <coughs> you have a great future ahead of you as a neighborhood creep. You have a great future ahead of you as the neighborhood weirdo, pedophile, god knows what. You definitely need a human heart. Not as useful as you would think, human hearts. Warp back to uh, White Run. Hopefully, get uh, uh, word that uh, the uh, Black Dark Brotherhood has uh, its eye on us. No. Don't get my message. You tried mercenary work. It might suit you. It might. Hi there. Hey. Yes. 
No, no, I'm not talking to you, asshole. Been a murder over in Riften. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. Yeah, I've heard Those about poor that. children must be heartbroken. Yeah, I'm they're just crying their little eyes out. Poor things. <laughs> Okay, well, I didn't get the little message, but that's okay. I've had it before. Hello, mommy. Sleep well. Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage? Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. You should have taken it. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see... There's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe. And admire. Am I to take your silence as acceptance? Then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. Uh, I want to experiment. Whoever this is, clearly we got off on the wrong foot. Uh, but no worries. This is not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. Okay, I'm being watched. Nope, nothing. <coughs> talk to me, Basha. Come now. Whatever the problem, we can talk about it like civilized folk, hmm? Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Me? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> the real question is, would someone pay to have me killed again? A day goes by without someone trying to cut me in the street. I get disappointed. Tell you what. You release me, and I promise my associates will not cut you down like an... Molan butcher you in the street. It is a win-win. Wait till I get a... A hidden, and then I'm going to uh, give him a gig. Just see if I get an interesting cinematic off off it at all. <laughs> no, did not. Hi there, honey. 
What's happening? Damn it, what are you doing? Excuse me. What kind of question is that? I'm a woman living in Skyrim with six children and no husband. I don't have the time or the patience to be nice. Do some people look down on me? Have I made some enemies? You're damn right. I don't have time for this nonsense. I've got a home to keep and children to feed. Now... I don't think I've ever actually... I, I mean, I, I surely have seen their, their faces before. Yep. Let's move Basha toward the sun. Oh, God, please. Let me live. I'll do anything you want. I... I can hear you talking out there. Please let... My name is Full Time. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a sellsword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? What? Oh, God. I, I don't want to die. Okay, well, I guess it's possible. I've been selling my sword arm for years now. Uh, killed a lot of people. Could be someone wanted revenge. But, uh, but you're not going to kill me, right? No, nope, I'm going to leave you here. Uh, uh, what did I do? Uh, please, whatever it is, I'm sorry. Hmm. The fearless wife and mother and the underhanded Khajiit. Had to be one of them, right? Interesting choice. Indeed. For you, my friend, seem to understand what's truly important. When I give an order to spill blood, you follow it. No questions, no remorse. Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next la level. La. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family, the Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. All right. I'll see you at home. Okay. Actually, I'm not far from my home. Okay, well, what I'm probably going to be doing next is um, uh, College of Winterhold quests. Uh, I may not record them unless they prove to be sort of conventionally bloody. Uh Yep, my house is right there. Hope there's no slaughter fish in here. There's the old house. Very convenient. That dark brotherhood. Convenient one day service. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your oh, hands now I'm only. finally getting them the, me the letter. Let's see here. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, thank you very much. Sorry to be showing you my swords, but uh, you kind of rushed up on me there. 
we have any uh, river betty? Yep. Come here, fishy. Fishy, fishy. I need your beautiful poisons. I need your beautiful deadly toxins. Not you. Only a few for Betty. Oh well. I need your beautiful deadly toxins. Oh, I've been uh, <coughs> uh, in my free time. I've been uh, practicing alteration. I'll tell you, show you how I do it. Now, uh, it's a very easy way to. Um, level up the uh, alteration bring up telekinesis you need to get the tele telekinesis spell which shouldn't be hard although maybe expensive at the uh, college of Winterhold grab a basket you don't need to do this on the roof of your house I just enjoy doing that go ahead and bring up my And you just repeat that uh, repeatedly uh, to build up your alteration. This is like a little alteration exercise. Yes. Oh, you might want to be in some sort of magical robes when you do this uh, to uh, help your magic regen, and or have a ton of potions at, at uh, ready at hand of, of uh, potions of um, uh, magic or restore. But simply having a nice. Uh, 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 robe and a hood uh, to restore your magicka probably helps. Well, it doesn't probably help. It certainly helps. It absolutely helps. It certainly absolutely helps. Unfortunately, at this at this level, um, um, you have to wait till your magic restores or have a potion potion to uh, to get it uh, going again. But um, but so that ta that takes a little bit of time. Uh, but if you so if you want to build up your alteration, that's a simple easy way of doing it you know for, for, for building up destruction you have to have a living creature or living being of some sort to uh, uh, to fire it against one that ho hopefully won't kill you in the process uh, but um, for alteration you just that's pretty simple pretty straightforward way of doing it uh, you could also I don't know whether just casting mage light over and over would work it might It doesn't really, the, the spell doesn't really have to have a, a target to speak of. Uh, well, it has to have a target, but it doesn't have to have a living, destructible target uh, or a target that may protest against you. Uh, that probably really works just as well. Uh, it doesn't level up as fast because it's not as powerful of a spell. Uh, illusion, you probably... Uh, do clairvoyance over and over again, or muffle if you're willing to wait for your magic to recharge. Uh, but for me, uh, the the only schools of magic that are particularly um, useful uh, are, of course, destruction, which unfortunately you need a you need a living target for those. Uh, illusion uh, need muffle and and also uh, uh, also. Um, Later on, you'll get power, power a, a spell of invisibility uh, and alteration uh, for uh, detect life is one. Uh, it's not that important for what I'm doing. Uh, detect dead is very handy, but or yeah, detect dead is handy, uh, but not that crucial. Um, 
water breathing also is very nice, but again, for, for what I'm doing, it's not that that important. Um, most important thing for me, of course, is destruction. Restoration is nice, but I'm not going to be putting any perks into it. Uh, and illusion, of course. Illusion is actually probably the second most important magic because of uh, muffle, and later on will be invisibility. It's always heartwarming to return to my cheery home. Uh, there's there's something about a, a roaring fire and a nice bowl of stew and human skulls on the mantle that, that warm my heart and, and make me feel like like I have a like I'm loved. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm <laughs> like I'm loved. <laughs> yes. Makes me feel warm and loved. Hey kitty. Okay, just gonna do some alchemy. I'm gonna head over to to, um, to the college and, and do some stuff off camera. Uh, pursue those quests there. That's really not sort of a primary part of of the 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 YouTube series. It's not a primary part of the U YouTube series, uh, but uh, it is something I want to go ahead and uh, accomplish uh, so that I get the very badass coat uh, that belongs to the uh, Archmage. I'm fighting a dragon priest uh, uh, with a helper, and the dragon priest does not know I'm here. Um, I'm really sort of considering that he spits fireballs ah! like like other people, you know, breathe. I'm a little bit reluctant to actually fight him at close quarters. So I think I may let my helper take care of business. Just stay here in the corner. All nice and neat. Mercy. Yeah, I mean, do you hear those fireballs? Not a, not a thing that I am looking forward to having to face. A uh, homegirl. Uh, you're on your own. <laughs> I hate to hear you cry like that, but honestly, I'm not a masochist. I don't want to face that thing. Except at a discrete distance. Mercy. Oh well, great. Bring her. Bring him to me. Bring him to me. Why don't you? I guess I gotta man up. I'm gonna try to take him from behind what when he comes here? comes in here to barbecue that poor woman. <laughs> oh god. Why'd you have to bring him here to me? This is all your idea. Victory is yours, I submit. Wow, she just ran out. Then she's back. You can't hide from me. I knew I'd find you. Oh. It's like one hit, and that's, that's all she wrote. Oh, he's gonna. We she, are routed. Fall back. And now he's, she's got a storm oh. atronach. Great, thank you for bringing the fire to me. I really appreciate it. Great. What you plan on doing about that thing, huh? I cannot best you. There you are. Her, her, his fireballs are better than yours. I mean, to me, 
you you realize at some point that you're that you're finished, that you can't beat them. <laughs> Come back here! Ha! Found you. Is he actually dead? Oh no! I'm right in the firing line. Girl dead. Oh, while I'm still alive, um, let's go ahead and uh, level up. Homegirl must be dead now. I'm sorry, terribly sorry about that, homegirl. But sometimes you, know, sometimes you have to realize that you're outmatched, you know? You're not going to be able to take these people first now. They are way too badass for you. Oh, great. Thanks. What bring was her, that? Bring her here. Oh, bring him here. Ah, found you. Yeah, have him cast some of those fireballs this way. That'd be, that'd be real nice. Gee, thanks. Thanks, home girl. I appreciate it. I really do. Yeah, t t take the fight in there, please. Oh, he's apparently out of magic. Or, or not. I can't shoot to avoid uh, taking out homegirl. And he's a little bit too close to comfort. <laughs> Think you can take me? Yep. Good riddance. Let's move on. The stroll must be in the next room. Uh, excuse me, I'm, be, I'm be going to be doing the looting here. I got some looting here to do, um, that's why I'm here. And this homeboy has a badass staff of fireballs, which I'm going to be keeping. Thank you very much. And a cool mask. And I'm carrying too much to run. Eat any horker loaf? Perhaps now would not be a good time to start drinking. Although perhaps it would be. Uh, got some big old chunks of metal I'm carrying around for no good reason. 
Very much so. Okay, where is that, uh, where is the chanting coming from? All right, we got a snake. We got a snake. on the table. Nice. Okay, the, 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 the thing you wanted that you were about to you're getting barbecued by that uh, Dragon Priest is right there, or you're not gonna take it. I may never know. Looks like there could be something up there. Alright, now, homegirl, if I take this scroll, are you going to get pissed at me? Okay, here you go. Where are you? Where'd you go? Yes? I cannot thank you enough for all of the help. Well, your body took most of the damage. And here's a little something for helping me out. Okay. All right, claim and familiar. Are you just going to be stuck there forever now? That's sort of the plan, you'll be stuck in this tomb forever? Because you disturbed that dragon piece, priest? I am fucking curious as to what might be up there, because I saw a little... It's like a little window or something. That might be handy. That might be handy as well. Well, I've got to use um, extreme measures to get up there because I'm I'm too curious. Come here, horsey. I need to wind up a little bit here. Nope, there is nothing there. Just a hole. Plan on spending the rest of your life here? Oh, oh she's already got, already gone. All right. Probably all there is here. 